site when I get there. You get the stuff. Ah yes, the wonderful world of Inner Sphere Mercenaries. Hello everybody and welcome to Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries, which is the expand alone to Mech Warrior 2 and should be substantially different from what we've got so far. I I did hop in an instant action already to make sure that my controls and everything were all set up. They seem to have imported correctly. So that is excellent. And we will be pretty much immediately diving straight in to, I don't know, probably the mercenary commander mode because that has economy enabled. And that seems like a decent idea or a horrible one, one or the other. I have no idea what I'm getting into here. I've never played MechWarrior 2 Mercs before, but if it's anything like the Merc Simulator in Battletech, it should get interesting. Speaking of Battletech, they have an expansion out soon, Operation Flashpoint. I'm gonna have to play that. Maybe after Mercs. We might take a bit of a Mech Warrior break and go back to Battletech and play another campaign. That might be a good idea. Anyway, for right now, let's hop on into Mercenary Commander. And let's see what exactly happens here. Watch your speed. Don Mackey does not pull at 5 seconds. Roger. 20 meters to target. And all clear, Venom 1. Setting down. Welcome home. All new arrivals, please register at the Comstar Terminal. Okay, so we need to register at the Comstar Terminal, presumably. Dropship is there. Office is there. Don't know what the office is for, but we'll find out. But we need to do the terminal first, presumably. Enter call sign. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to go with here. Probably just going to go with Atreides. There we go. Okay, so what will our unit name be? Hmm. Well, I believe we went with a with, with basically the standard unit name in Battletech, Atreides' Marauders, I believe. I don't think I changed that. Let's do that again. We can't actually do a... Uh, Apostrophe. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just call it Atreides Incorporated. What could go wrong? Okay. If you're reading this, by now you know that I'm dead. The good news is you can keep your mech and any money we have in the bank. You're going to have to run the show for yourself now. The computer in my office will show you what contracts are available and what pilots are up for hire. That's how I found you, not so very long ago. Let other people worry about patriotism. You just keep your mind on the money, and don't get yourself killed on some stinking rock. No load of sea bills is going to bring you back from the grave. Or me, for that matter. Oh well, I never could say no to a mission. Good luck. Your former commander, Colonel Holly Harris. Okay, so apparently there's voice acting now. Maybe I don't have to read all of those? I don't know if there's voice acting for all of them. Probably not, based on the file size. But, 
Um, let's see here. So there's a computer in the office, huh? Well, let's see what's in here. We've got our mech bay there. And we've got our computer here, and there's nothing else there. Let's take a quick look at the mech bay. Mech ops, and that's all we've got here. Okay. What's in the mech ops? Hmm. We have a million sea bills. That is not very much. Arms merchant can sell... Let's see, these aren't ammo. These are the actual launchers. Energy weapons... Projectile weapons, that's interesting. M most Battletech games call them ballistic weapons, but whatever. Equipment, so heat sinks, jump jets, ammo. I'm hoping we're actually going to have to repair after each mission. That's something I've been missing in the last couple. Uh, let's exit there, and let's take a look at the mech factory. Okay, Urban Mech, Commando, Jenner, Panther, Cicada, Stalker, Crab, Sentinel. I'm not familiar with the Sentinel. Thug, B Bombardier... Interesting. Flashman. Okay. I mean, we don't have enough money to buy any of them. We have a commando, and that is it. That is going to suck a little bit. Okay, uh, what do we actually have in inventory? We have three medium lasers and an SRM-6. Well, that sounds like a commando loadout, if I've ever heard one. Hey, repair and reload. Ooh, nice. Internals, armor, front and rear. And of course, a handy repair all. Okay. That seems interesting, for sure. Ooh, yeah, weapons grouping. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm happy. We can set our weapons groups before we launch in. Thank you, Activision. I wanted that so badly in Ghost Bear's Legacy. I wanted it pretty badly in MechWarrior 2 31st Century Combat, too. But it's finally here. So we've got three medium lasers and an SRM-6 in our commando. And I would like to take a quick look at how many heat sinks we've got here. Um, is there any easy way to see that equipment? Hmm. Maybe not. What about armor? Can we adjust our armor, or is armor just what it is? It kind of looks like the armor is what it is, doesn't it? I haven't seen a way to adjust our armor at all. Maybe in the mech factory, but that seems to be just buying and selling mechs. I would think if it was anywhere, it would be here. But yeah, we've got our criticals here, and then we can add weapons, equipment, and ammo. We're currently at 24 and a half tons. Can we add a half ton of ammo? Oh. Oh, I see. Hang on. That puts us half a ton overweight. This is a ton of ammo right here. Um, do we have... Yes, we do have SRM-6 ammo already. We have a lot of criticals open. Two medium lasers in this arm, one medium laser in this arm, and then our SRM-6 is located in our center torso. I'm going to move that around a little bit. I want to have the SRM-6 over here in this torso. And let's go ahead and put that there. There we go. And then I want to have at least one medium laser in our center torso. So let's go ahead and put that there. Two medium lasers there, and then one off in this arm, maybe. Now, we are, of course, currently overweight. We can pull off this ton of ammo here. I don't see any way to adjust armor, so I think they removed that, which, I mean, based on the limitations that the armor system had in the previous game, I'm okay with that. So this is going to cost 350k C-bills to move this around. Um, let's see if it actually goes through. Let's not do those customizations for right now. I don't want to spend that money. Okay. So we've got ourselves a commando. Excellent. How do we go back? Office. Here we go. Okay. And then we've got our computer here. Presumably this is where we accept contracts. Finances. Technician salaries are 2,001 C-bills. 
2000 was clearly not enough, and 2002 was clearly absurd. So we're paying 2001 Z bills a month in technician salaries. Okay, so we have a total cost of 14k Z bills per month. That's not before any repairs or anything. So that's interesting. We've got our inventory here. We can also see this in our mech lab, which is probably where I'll see that a little bit more frequently. Access. We've got our personnel here, Aerotech pilots. That's fascinating. We can hire a mech warrior, but we have nothing for him to drive, so I'm not going to bother with that. Connecting to okay, so we've got a mercenary Access. training campaign with Hanson's Rough Riders. The mercenary unit Hanson's Rough Riders is searching for a few inexperienced mech warriors that already own their own mechs to supplement Hanson's Rough Riders in a Draconis contract. While the job is for the Draconis Combine, the ideal candidate will be reporting to Rough Rider Command. You will be watched over and guarded by an experienced mech warrior throughout the two month campaign. Job pays 300,000 C bills upon completion. The Combine will pay for all reasonable ammunition expenses. Interesting. We have poor salvage rates, so we're probably not going to get much there. Uh, this is a counterinsurgency campaign with good good salvage rates. We probably shouldn't do that one yet. Also, there's a Fedcom one here. A small mercenary unit, blah blah blah. They will pay travel expenses and will provide us with a dropship. Okay. Well, I think this starts on August 1st, this starts on June 1st, and ends July 15th. So we can take the training campaign and see what ends up happening, and then do the counterinsurgency campaign if we can. Pay is already deposited in a Comstar account. Good, because I don't necessarily trust the Combine to pay. Okay, so this is with Hanson's Rough Riders. Let's go ahead and accept that. Okay. So now I believe we need to travel to that location, presumably via board dropship. This looks right. That's exciting. So um, my, my button to mute the microphone skips cutscenes in this game. It didn't in the last one. But we've got ourselves our mission command here and then abort campaign. So I guess this will be multiple missions. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got... This is the same pretty much as our computer before. We've got our duty roster. So there's just me piloting a tiny little commando, COM7X. Interesting that it's a 7X. We've also got basically exactly the same, so let's just go ahead and launch the mission. The dropship captain says, We're setting down in a hot landing zone. We suspect that there are pirate mechs in the area. You and your drill instructor, Sergeant Unther, will patrol the area around the dropship, searching for signs of enemy activity. Codename training mission, planet Venaria, terrain rolling hills, time day, mean temperature 15 Celsius, so it's not super cold, but it's not super hot either. Mission pay, none, because we get paid at the end of the campaign. Expected resistance, pirates. Your call sign, kid, or hey you. Listen to your instructor's commands. He will not repeat himself. After giving you simple instructions in the operation of your mech, you must go to all nav points and finally return to dropship Wild Ride. Okay, so this is just a standard combat patrol sort of mission. What's our situation? Oh, hey! So we get that as well. That's cool. And looks like we have our briefing that we had before. Let's do that first. Patrol the area around your dropship. Go to these nav points. Well, that was pretty much as terse as it was in the previous game. <laughs> Mech Warriors Campaign Journal. Left outreach today, bound for Venaria. I'm still not used to space travel, and we were under a 2G burn for over an hour. Not very comfortable. I hear things are pretty hot on Venaria. The, the Draconis Combine has told Hanson's Rough Riders to move up, move up their scheduled arrival by a full two weeks. I thought this was supposed to be an easy mission. Came out of jump at 12.34. Our dropship was out by 1.30, and we were met by a couple of pirate aerospace fighters by 6 o'clock. What a day. The pirates weren't really interested in fighting. They were much more interested in getting us to go away. I overheard one mech warrior saying they tried to bribe Hanson's Rough Riders into breaking their contract with the Combine. The Rough Riders refused. 
We just pulled into orbit over Venaria. I've been told that my trainer is to be Sergeant Unther. I don't know anything about him, but several mech warriors rolled their eyes and laughed when I mentioned it to them. They chuckled for a minute about the McComb incident, but refused to give me any details. One wished me luck before he left. I hope this Sergeant Unther isn't a loser. I suspect he's going to be a bit of a jerk, but let's find out. Let's see how this goes. Our very first mission in MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. What could possibly go wrong? By the way, we are playing on, on medium difficulty. If necessary, I will change it, but it shouldn't be. Well, this is different. Welcome to the front lines, kid. My name's Sergeant Unther, but you can call me Deadeye. I'll be your babysitter for the next couple of days, so don't get killed. I hate it when my guys get killed. I'm in the big mech in front of you. Shoot me even once, and I'll tear that beer can you call a mech into scrap. Today, you and I are going on a short patrol. I don't think we'll meet any hostiles, but stay alert. If we get into a fight, you just watch my back and let me kill everybody. I love heavy runs. First, hit the N key on your console. See the nav point in the lower left-hand corner of your screen? That's the first point of our patrol. Hit one of the number keys on the top of your console. They control your speed. The higher the number, the faster you go. Use your joystick to head in the direction of Nav Alpha. So, um, none of that was particularly relevant. I have a custom control scheme for mouse and keyboard here. But, uh, there's some interesting changes here. For one thing, the, ter the ter terrain here is much more detailed in its texture. The heat readout is substantially different. In fact, let's, uh... Oh, that's exciting. Hang on. Nav Alpha reached. Okay. Uh, let's. Notice how your nav he rammed me. Cycles automatically to the next nav point. Head for that point now. If you lose the nav point, watch for the green arrow on your HUD. The green arrow is your best friend. It will always point you towards your selected nav point. Okay. So. I think weapon groups are zero indexed in this game, or something. Or my binding is just a little off. Nav beta reached. Good. Now we have only two more nav points to do. Go to each in turn and keep your speed up. In real combat, speed is life. If you go slow, you die. Especially in a commando. But this guy can't keep up, so... Oh, look at that. Shadows. Also, those are some wacky falling animations. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, we can outrun this guy. What could go wrong? Later, nerd. Yeah, those are some really wacky falling animations. I don't know how to feel about that. We're gonna run into something out here. Nav Gamma reached. And I kinda don't want to be, uh too far ahead of this guy because I guarantee you we're gonna hit something over here he did ram us and so we have some damage in one of our arms which is gonna be exciting but we'll be able to repair that I'm sure between missions some missions might not allow us to repair between them but also I think I think I mentioned this already but I think the weapon groups are zero indexed because it put things in my weapon group 2 rather than my weapon group one. Nav Delta reached. Is there really no combat in this mission? Dropship Wild Ride. This is Deadeye. Me and Fresh Meat here have finished our sweep and are heading back home. Area is secure. Not a bad day, kid. Get back to the dropship. It's at the return nav point. Where's the ambush? I mean, maybe this was a just familiarize yourself with the controls mission, but surely not. I would have thought they would have thrown some combat at us. Well, there's definitely going to be combat mission next mission successful. then. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> That's exciting too. Wait, mission failed? 
What? I'm confused. We returned to the dust-off site. And it said mission successful. Why did the mission just fail, according to this? Anyway, Comstar News Service says fierce fighting continues on Venaria as Draconis forces, including the mercenary unit Hansen's Rough Riders, met pirate raiders in several pitched battles on that world's fertile northern continent. Draconis Command claims to have destroyed nearly a company of pirate mechs, while the Rough Riders encountered and destroyed only a lance at one of their dropship landing zones. I don't recall seeing a lance. While the total losses at the, on the Draconis side remain hidden to Comstar, the pirates claim to have destroyed two full lances of Draconis mechs, including an assault lance that was thought too powerful for the pirates to ever fa face in open battle. The pirates claim that Hansen's Rough Riders fought better than the D DCMS Draconis Combine Mustard Soldiery. The pirates claim no kills against the Rough Riders. So we need to do this mission again. Okay. So why did we fail? Well, maybe we won't have to do the repairs now? From yeah. from that guy online. ramming us? Oh, we still have the damage. Oof. Yeah, I'm lose the nav point, I'm way ahead of this guy. <laughs> is your best friend. It will always point you towards your selected nav point. Nav beta reached. So a couple of things. This guy's going to keep prattling on, but there's a couple of things I want to talk about. One, we still have our damage from our last attempt on this mission, which is interesting. I think it bugged out. Also, it saved our weapon groups. Thirdly, you can see the heat gauge is now analog rather than a, a bar. It fills up in a radial pattern. So that's interesting. So I wonder if it's going to fail this again for no apparent reason. Well, we're about to find out. I didn't wait for this guy, so let's head on back to our dropship here. Dropship Wild Ride. This is Deadeye. Me and Freshmeat here have finished our sweep and are heading back home. The area is secure. Not a bad day, kid. Get back to the dropship. It's at the return nav point. I wonder if we're allowed to repair mid-campaign. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. There's a lot about this game that I don't know. Like, for one thing, why did it fail us before? Mission successful. Okay, so there's mission successful. Well, that's different. Mission failed. Why is it failing this mission? I'm really confused. Uh... I mean, we can go in and see how the repairs work. So we lost two armor here. And I want to repair this critical. Okay, that'll cost 1,250. That's basically nothing. So it's saying that we're failing to return to the dropship, of all things. 
I'm going to look that up and see if I can find a solution to that. But I need to put a cut in here. And in the next episode, we'll try to get this campaign finished. See you all then.